Hi, my name is Ben and welcome to Angling For You. Today you join me on a quick review of uh, the Carp Monster Feeder X Rod and uh, the Inertia um, Preston Reel. And uh, let's just get straight into it. Um, the, the particular rod that I've got up, got today is a 10 foot uh, Monster X and uh, it's a Carp Feeder uh, version. And I've fished it a couple of times only. I've not really given it a summer season bashing yet. Um, but already I've had a few carp on it and it's uh, fantastic. Um, I'm going to go through the pros and the cons. Uh, they've only got, I've only got one con, uh, but most things are pros. Uh, like all of the uh, sort of mid-range uh, feeder rods, it's got the flat base to the bottom of the handle and I really do like that and it fits just underneath your arm. It's, uh, it's a really good feature. And again, it's got the twist lock um, system to sort of twist and join on your reel. Again, really, really good system. And, and, and also a little eye there to hook onto your, your, um, your hook link onto um, so you can walk around with it or have it ready made up. Again, like most um, rods in this range, uh, you know, really, really good. Uh, it, I got this for um, around it, about just under 90 pound. Um, there's lots of them in the range with there's an eight foot um, sort of onesie one there's a 10 foot there's a 12 foot and then there's also the uh, pellet waggler version of it as well so there's a few to go at it it's a mid-price range it's not not telling you to go out and spend lots of money um like i say i i don't want the lower range stuff which is sort of more the beginner and they tend to be a little bit floppier and heavier i want the sort of mid-range and again i don't want to spend hundreds of pounds um on the super expensive so I've gone for the mid-range, just like my Yank and Bank was, um, and it, uh, it, you know, it's a great rod. So the other thing I do like about this is the eyes, because it's a cart rod, they've, they've gone really big with the eyes, and I think that's a really good feature, um, which it goes all the way down to the bottom, and I think it's a really good feature that, that, that they're that slightly wider, and it allows you, your line to go through well, and it... It's, you know you can you can fish up to sort of eight, eight, eight to ten pound line not that you would need to uh, eight pound maximum really um, it comes with three tips um, all in different gradients so you can go down to the lower fit size sort of uh, skimmer size ones all those skimmers are fine on this one and I tend to just keep this tip in for everything um, uh, y y there is those two other options in a little tube um, and it comes in a little sleeve now that brings me on to my only con um, and that's it doesn't come with a ready-made uh, rod sleeve like um, my Yank and Bank did um, and like very many others do and Preston that is that, that let me down a little bit I was a bit upset about that um, although I'm gonna have to get one up fit some all in it, rods of this range should come with a ready-made zip bag they're not expensive to do you know nine times nine out of ten people that are going now a days they have them already set up and that, that that's that's naughty i think i think that, that really you should have had a ready-made zip bag that's my only con um but moving on to uh the reel inertia reel this is a 320 reel um it's a front drag and obviously you can turn the, the drag as so and as all most reels it has the back wind feature as well i'm not going to uh, unspool all my line out there um, as you can see um it's uh, it's got lovely blue coloration the the gears are really nice on it it's uh it the the drag comes off lovely and it's nice and smooth reel to use um again a negative it only comes with one spool it is only in the 40 pound bracket so maybe that's why but then again when you're paying 45 50 pound for a ninja they do come with two spools so again if you're wanting two spools for this then it doesn't come with them but it is an excellent reel when you do get it so just something to think about i'll do a review on the rest of them i'm going to get an 11 uh, um, sorry the 12 foot and the 8 foot and i'll also be having the pellet waggler as well just to replace the rods that i, I used to have as you know were yanker banks um but as a, as far as my uh, as me fishing with it i've in, i've enjoyed fishing with it already if you want to see it in action um as a pairing go uh, watch my um bread feeder fishing uh, video which was up last week and uh, we have uh, a couple of fish on that um especially um a carp as well to see what what how that goes so you can see how the action works but the it, the, the best thing i 
I do like about these kind of mid-range rods is the action from the butt downwards and all those lunges that the fish have under your net it absorbs all that it bends right way through it's a very light um rod and, and not not very bouncy it's you know i'm really i am i am i am impressed with it and it is a good rod um although it needs a case with it that that's the only thing i can say preston you do need to to have a case with it but other than that um yeah it, it's a great piece of kit so join me uh on the Facebook group and have a look on there, see uh, all the guys on the, that are putting all their stuff on. Join us on the Instagram if pictures are your thing. Um, have a look around for all our other reviews and uh, other videos that are on the channel. Thanks for watching guys, Tell Lines.